Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jimmy Lee and you're watching Roar Fishing Channel. So, I'm doing a huge unboxing from January 2016. I got like Tackle Warehouse stuff, got some Amazon, some eBay, some local uh, Dick Sporting Goods stuff. And wow, I got a lot of stuff here and I think I spent almost $500 last month uh, alone. So it's a great start to 2016. So yeah, I think I'm going to share all these stuff with you so you guys can check it out. And um, I guess I'll start off with my last unboxing which was Christmas. So if you guys remember this guy right here, the Luz, they're nice. They have a nice uh, reel for sale back then. It's the basically the Team Luz Pro Z. It was like 150 bucks on the 25th day, and if you didn't get it at the 25th day of December, you got it for 200 bucks. So, but yeah, this reel was really awesome. So I needed to pair this bad boy up with something. So I have decided to get this guy right here. Yeah, man. It's the G Loomis E6X. I got a medium action, which is seven foot, one inch, and this is rated for one eighth ounce to three eighth ounce. I love finesse fishing, so I want to get something that I can chuck very light lures uh, a thousand miles. So just by reading the uh, ratings of this and some of the reviews, it looked pretty nice. So I want to add this to my arsenal. And since I'm spending something uh, pretty expensive uh, and it's pretty damaging to my uh, wallet, I decided to get a rod sock, which is in sexy shad color. It's pretty cool. It protects the guides, basically. So when I stack all these guys in my car, rods on top of rods, it's not going to damage the guides. But quick story, back in the past, um, my brother, my friend, we all just jumped in my car. We all just stashed all our rods uh, from the back of the car to the front. And I got out, I was excited, I was trying to get one of the rods out, I yanked it, popped off one of my guides because I was just, you know, being rough with it. So, pretty, a pretty sad day, but I think this should solve it, so I'm going to buy some more of these. Uh, this is my first one, and I got the stick jacket, that's the brand. I already took it off and put it on just to take a look, but uh, I should have done the, the, you know, full unboxing, but I thought it was still cool. Um, do, do, do it this way, I guess, so I could kind of show you guys. You know, save some of your time. But anyways, um, cool stuff right there. So I got a bunch of stuff, like I said. Uh, let's just get rid of some of the Tackle Warehouse stuff here. So of course, always come with, um, uh, here we go. Nice sticker that I'll sticker up my one of my two kayaks. And got two shirts, one in large, one in medium. Hmm, wonder what these are for. I mean, I'm wearing a medium, but I got two sizes. Leave a comment below if you think what I'm, uh, if you know what I'm doing soon. But uh, anyways, got some uh, suffix 832 braid. These guys are awesome. It's for my drop shotting at six pound test line. And I got some something new here. Um, this is a Lucky Craft Iron Athlete. It's floral carbon line. It's at eight pounds. So I like to pair uh, my braid with my floral carbon as a leader when I do drop shotting. Very cool stuff. And of course, when I do drop shot, I can't forget about these guys. My very favorite brand and favorite lure, Zoom Tiny Tiny Flukes. I got a white, green pumpkin, and baby bass. Baby bass is actually really cool because um, with the catch and release industry, guys, there's a lot of bass in the waters, and you know anything at this size, regardless of the bass, pike, pickerel, it's bay fish. So if you want to imitate. Uh, baby bass, you definitely gonna catch a lot of fish, especially in uh, I guess um, summertime. So, all right, so let's just move these guys out. Let's start these. All right, ton of cool stuff right here. These are red eye shad from Strike King. Plenty of these guys. Got them in many different colors, but I usually like the ones in the sexy shad color. Um, got one in shark chartreuse like. Got this guy. I guess a little bit more chartreuse. And I got this guy and fire tiger, just in case I get into muddy water situations. But definitely one of my favorite lures, especially for pre-spawn bass fishing. Uh, if you guys take a look at my uh, top right-hand corner right now, there's a video that popped up for last year. That video right there, I was fishing with my brother somewhere in Delaware, and we caught a ton of bass that day. And there's one time where I actually caught three bass and three casts. So, very awesome uh, way to comb the water columns, especially in pre-spawn time, and try to find that, uh, find that hungry bass. All right, so let's move that over. All right, got a bunch of rapalos here. Um, so, I'll start with something new. 
I know you guys have asked me to do some top water fishing and bam, here we go. I got something really cool right here. It's a prop bait, so it has one propeller in the front, one propeller in the back. But right now everything is kind of frozen, so I can't really do that. But I know you guys like my video on pickerel fishing at New Brooklyn. And uh, I'll, I'll be fishing plenty of places in uh, South Jersey where it's shallow water and plenty of top water action with pickerels and bass. So I can't wait to throw this uh, guy out there once everything starts to thaw out. Alright, so got to go to my very favorite jerk bait from Rapala. It's the... Uh, X-Wrap XR10 and also got the small version XR8. I got it in many different colors. Um, my favorite color uh, is actually not here because I already unboxed it but it's the ye yellow perch uh, pattern and color. But my second favorite color is this one right here. This is olive green. It imitates almost any bait fish or any even sport fish around here like bass pickerels, uh, even bluegills because they always have that green tint uh, on the top and the bottom belly is always lighter. So very good lore. I love to use this in almost any situation. This guy right here is a suspending type. Very awesome action. Uh, of course, you got to get them in white too. I already unboxed one. And like I said, it's already in my tackle box. This is the albino sh shiner. And of course, it imitates bait fish. So very good. Very good. So let me get these extra out of here. Let's put it underneath here. All right. So got another cool one. I think it's really uh, fairly recent released out there. This is called a shadow wrap. It's got it in two different colors. But basically, the one I showed you earlier, these guys here are suspending, but these guys are actually slow sinking. Now, these guys are designed for cold water situation. I can use this in this guy right here, the XR10, in almost any situation, but you just gotta play around with the retrieve and jerk and pauses. These guys, you fish them slow, and not only that, uh, you know, you fish like these guys slow. There's a couple new action that these guys have compared to any other jerk baits that would entice cold water fish to hit. So one of them is that these guys actually fall and point down slowly. So that kind of imitates dying shad. Another thing is, it says if you actually uh, jerk these in a correct way and let it pause, it actually flickers 180 degrees. So imagine you know, a bass coming to uh, a big fit. You're a bass, right? So I'm pretending you're the bass. And, or I'm the bass, depending which side uh, the fish is facing the floor. Imagine this guy, you know, turn like this. You kind of see the profile of the fish, right? And that, for some reason, entices the fish to hit. So I can't wait to get, uh, give these guys a shot too. But unfortunately, it's kind of frozen around my area. But I definitely can't wait to give this a shot and see what I can catch with that. So, got them. I got two of them again. This guy in the silver color, and this guy in the moss black shiner, kind of like the one I showed you earlier. So, very good color. All right. Got another cool one, Lucky Craft. Now this one is a multi-jointed body, uh, middle jerk bait. I'm sorry to see it from here too. But yeah, this is the. Uh, let's see what it says here. The Pointer 110 MR suspending. Uh, can't wait to give this guy a shot. I usually do uh, really well with my XR10, uh, but I want to give something new a shot. Uh, last time you guys saw, I bought a bunch of these guys here, but I haven't really got a chance to use these guys yet, so I can't really talk about these yet. But these guys still look promising. I talked to one of my buddies. He said these lures do shine really well, and uh, he catches a lot of pickerels with those. Uh, which he don't like because he's a bass fisherman and when he go fish tournaments in South Jersey, for some reason, the pickerels like to hit those. But uh, yeah, so I got something not as shiny and hopefully more bass will hit these guys. But but as you guys know, I'm a multi angler uh, fisherman and I don't really care what hits. And I hope this, this action would actually entice like one of those muskies in DOD ponds to hit because I can't wait to catch one of those guys. All right, so oh, here's some more Rapalus. I thought I got rid of all of them. So more jerk baits here, but this time these are not plastic. These are balsa wood. Balsa wood is very light, buoyant uh, wood. So I never really tried any buoyant wood type uh, crankbaits. All of mine were usually um, pla some sort of plastic, but they say this one here is buoyant. And there's something that says right in the bottom, it says hard rolling action. So I think this is gonna be really cool. Most of my stuff is suspending since it says it's buoyant, this is floating. And the hard roll, I'm assuming it's going to have a hard rocking body motion. And I want to try something different, 
especially throwing my tackle box. You never know that, you know, since I always use these guys, sometimes it might just cause, you know, fish to be kind of like super pressured and no one hit. Throwing something new may actually uh, cause fish to react differently. So, uh, only bought two to see how that goes. Like I said, I love the perch fire tiger type patterns and I'll always stick with something uh, natural. In fact, I throw most of my jerk baits. Uh, in somewhat clear water condition, when I say clear, it's like at least three feet visibility, four feet, uh, three to four feet visibility. Uh, that's enough to get it in front of them uh, where they see it. You know, vibration is definitely key to get fish to uh, hone into your bait. But murky, a murky water situation, I don't even touch these guys. So, all right. So I think I knocked out half this side. We already talked about sticker, which I'll stick on my kayak. Charter bait. Uh, I got nothing really special to talk about these guys. I'm still new to it. Uh, I tried it, these last year and I caught a good amount of bass in spring. Uh, tried it in the fall, caught a few, but I snagged uh, on a rock or a stump or something like that. And I just want to replace one. And the one I snagged was actually this color. And so I find it very promising, this type of lore. So there's definitely a lot of things I could learn just by you know watching more YouTube channels and you know fish with people who actually fit, uh, fish with these. But I'm excited. Uh, definitely something I like to learn and master. So let's uh, keep moving on. All right. So I got more jerk baits here, but this time it's some bomber. These are saltwater additions, so they're a little bigger. My plan is actually use these guys in saltwater trolling for bluefish and stripers when the spring comes. And I'll probably take, remove the middle hook because um, I just don't want to deal with too many hooks on a kayak, especially dealing with bluefish with nasty teeth. Um, last thing you want to do is hook yourself because they, they, they wobble a lot, they flip and flap, thrash, and you want to play it safe. I think already with uh, two treble hooks, which is six hooks total, you definitely should be able to set the hook with no problems with aggressive bluefish. All right, uh, let's do these guys since we're talking about salt water. So I've got some of these guys right here. Boom. Go alive. Salt water, swimming mullet, four inch. Got them white and glow. I got plenty more in my garage for uh, chartreuse. Those are my two favorite color. If you want to try glow to see how that thing uh, really looks like under water. I mean, it's white, so it's definitely got some white, but when you put it under, like in a dark, it actually glows a little green. So I want to see how that react, uh, triggered fluke fishing um, and stuff like that. But I use these guys mainly for fluke fishing, uh, which I'll talk more about when the time comes. But the, anything, almost everything has these sea robins, sea bass, striped bass, bluefish, weak fish. So as long as they, uh, something put this thing in their mouth, they'll, they'll love it. So, all right, so let's see that. If you guys want to see me uh, do more saltwater fishing, you know, give me, uh, give me a comment below. Uh, I'm in New Jersey and you guys like to uh, do New Jersey fishing, you know, hit me up. Maybe we'll get together and do some uh, fruit fishing or striper fishing or whatever you guys want. All right, let's do this one first. So power bait right here, uh, two inch minnows. I wanna get these guys and see if I can catch some trout with them uh, when trout season comes. Also, uh, see if I could drop shot these guys for panfish since they're a little smaller than these guys here. Um, I like this color. I, I use this one right here, but in I think four inch or five inch, I forgot which, which size uh, power bait has it in, but I have that for bass fishing. And I really like this design and just want to give the smaller one a chance and see what else I catch with these guys. All right, so I'm gonna do this guy first because this guy is cool. So I always have a pocket knife with me. It's basically, you know, when you guys fishing, you gotta be able to cut things. And this is my favorite. I just got one broken, but I've had it for maybe three years. It's this one right here. This is Swiss Army Victor Rinox. Can't even pronounce it, but bam. It's this guy right here. I'll back up just in case you can't see that. Here you go. This small little guy is really awesome. I use the scissors all the time. These guys right here. Catch, uh, catch, uh, it cuts uh, mono, braid, floral. Really, really good. So I definitely like it. Also have a knife, which is good. Especially some uh, folks who likes to keep their fish, you cut the gills, bleed the fish, make sure they're fresh, pith the fish, or uh, ikijime, which is basically you, you pith, like I said, you destroy the brain so that it reduces the stress of fish, and that's something I'll cover in the future too. But yeah, very good 
uh, thing. Have tweezers too in case you uh, get something stuck in there uh, somewhere and you need to take it out. Toothpick, don't really use it. But really good. I have this on my keychain. I have it on multiple carabiners. I have it on my life vest. I have it on my book bag. Uh, but the one that was broken was on my keychains. I think uh, what happened, my keys just smacked into it too many times and it broke. So I got to replace this guy. But these guys are really good. Look it up on Amazon. Don't get the one from Bass Pro. It looks like the same thing. It's like five or six bucks. But those are terrible. Those are very, really, really terrible. Only get these guys right here. All right, so my last one I got from eBay, which is really cool, and I'm really, really excited for it. It's called the Megabyte. I don't know if anyone knows about this lore, but these are from Thailand. So I actually got it from some Thailand guy. And in fact, I'm just gonna fully unbox this guy here. This is my first time unboxing this guy here. But in Asia, fishing for snakeheads and any other sport fish, they actually use this cool guy here. So I'm gonna take this guy apart. So bam, take a look at this guy. I guess I could take this guy right here. So if you guys are familiar with the Red Eye Shad, uh, quarter ounce, size difference right here. So basically there's a rubber skirt here and then it has hooks in the back with weed guards. Really, really cool. And this thing is actually wood. And they call these jumping frogs when it first started in, uh, God knows when, when they start uh, creating these. But take a look at the bottom right here, how, how it looks like. So basically when you guys use this frog, it actually hops. They call it these jumping frogs. So if you guys look, look up jumping frogs from eBay. Really, really cool, neat lure. I actually bought this to go Florida fishing for bullseye snakehead, but of course I got a lot of snakeheads up around here. And I want to give these guys a shot see how how it entices uh, snake has to hit it but I definitely like it so far um, really really craft pretty well it's so small that I think it will cast pretty far uh, I don't know about these weed guards right here it actually kind of bent a little bit off so I think I'll just play with it and um, you know you could tune it I and mean, we're all anglers we know how to tune lures with no problems so I'll tune that a little bit but yeah I definitely can't wait to Give these guys a shot. I got two of them. This one looks. Uh, this one looks a little better. I like fishing frogs in natural colors because typically uh, when you fish for frogs, top of the water is pretty much pretty uh, clear. Clarity is not bad, and uh, you know ch just trying to match the hatch here. So really nice. So guys, thank you for watching my unboxing. Tons of stuff here. Tons of stuff I already unpacked and put it put it somewhere. I should have done everything together, but I bought so much stuff throughout the month. Um, you know, it just didn't happen. Got a little busy, but now everything is frozen outside. I decided to you know clear out my box, clear out on my uh, table and everything, so uh, I'll be clean. And there you guys have it. So thank you for watching, guys. Take care.